Welcome back to our series on introductory statistics. I'm Mark Ledbetter. This is lecture video 22, part A. Last time we saw two ways to find uh, z-scores when we were given a probability or we could say given an area or proportion um, since those are the same thing in this section. So we will continue that and go a little further. So we're going to start with the sixth example here and we can ask this question a couple of different ways. Within how many standard deviations of the mean is 0.8612 of a standard normal population? We could have said 86.12% of a uh, standard normal population. And so we're looking for a z-score, and we would just give one value in this case because it would be that direction. We're asking standard deviations, and those are always positive. Okay, But another way to ask the question, um, the same question, but we, we would have to give two values of z-scores, is if the center, so is this way, if the center, uh, let's say, proportion of a standard normal distribution is 0.8612, between what two z-scores is this area located? So I've drawn a picture. In both cases, it's the same picture because it's really the same question but asked in two different ways. So for uh, this, we're saying the probability that z is between negative a and positive a. So why did I choose a negative a and a positive a? Because I said that this was in the center, okay? Or within how many standard deviations that's implying in the center of the distribution. So we can use symmetry. That's the only way we can really solve this problem is to use symmetry. And when we get into the next section where mu is not equal to zero, uh, we'll do the same thing for this type of problem. We'll have the same distance uh, below the mean as we have above the mean. That's the only way to solve the problem. So let's look at the first way that we can solve this or think about this. And the first way is to think about the whole distribution. So we'd have negative a, positive a, and 0.861, oops, 8612 in between those values. And I'm going to think about how much is remaining or left over. So left over is 1 minus 0.8612 because the total um, that we have is uh, 1 for any probability distribution. The, area under, the total area is 1. So the remaining is going to be 1 minus what we have, which is 0.1388. Uh, and then I'm going to have the same amount in both of the tails. So 0.1388 divided by 2. Notice this is not equal to 1388 divided by 2. That's not equal. This one's not divided by 2. So please don't, don't say that they're equal. Write it. Just do a little bit more writing and write it over again. Or you could take and divide. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. You could take and divide this by 2 and divide that by 2, and then they would be equal. Okay? But please be a little more accurate with that. I've seen that a few times. So the answer is 0 0.0694. 0 0.0694 here, 0 0.0694 here. These three probabilities have to add up to 1, or you've made a mistake. Now, once I know 0 0.0694, that's the area to the left of negative a, and that is in our z table. So let's go to our z table and look at, um, and look for this. And I'm looking for 0 0.0694. So I come down here and I've got, um, let's say I, I, I come down and I find 0 0.0618. Well, so that's not what I want, but I, I go this way for the probability to go up, but that's not high enough, so I need to go down to the next line, and here it is. Okay, and so we're under a 0 0.08, and we are in the row for one negative 1 1.4. So this is negative 1.48. So that value is negative 1.48, and this that makes this value 1.48. So if I was answering the top question, I'd say um, z equals, or not z equals, I'd say. Um, 1.48 standard deviations. Okay. Uh, if I'm answering the second question, I'd say z equals negative 1.48 and z equals positive 1.48, and that would be my answer. Okay. 
depending on which way the question was asked. Now, let's look at another way to solve this uh, using symmetry again, but now we're go just going to use um, one half of the distribution instead of the whole distribution. So now I'm going to use the fact that on this side is 0.5. And so I know if this is negative a and the total in, in the middle is 0.8612, then this has to be over here, this has to be 0.8612 over 2, which is, or half of that, 0.4306. Okay, so only half of this can be over on that half. The other half would be over here, 0.4306. Together, that adds up to 0.8612. So if this is 0.4306, then this area down here that I need to find negative A is 0.5 minus 0 0.4306, which is 0 0.0694. It had better be. It's always going to be the same if we do it correctly. So again, we look up 0 0.0694 in the table. That gives us negative A. And so we get the same exact answer as we have here. Okay, so that, that concludes uh, how we get uh, z-scores when we're given probabilities. So let's talk about, let's prepare ourselves for the next section. We want to talk about how to convert raw scores to z-scores. So a raw score is the value from the population that we're studying. So in this chapter, all of our raw scores will be from a normal distribution that has a population mean, mu. Remember to use the correct terms for these symbols. So this is mu. And, you know, we want to uh, portray to people that we've been uh, educated and that we're uh, knowledgeable about the subject, so we need to use the right terminology. So the population mean is mu, and the population standard deviation is sigma. Okay, And so all these raw scores will have, um, they will be from some normal distribution with some mean mu and some standard deviation sigma. And we use capital X most of the time to represent these raw scores. We can use other letters, but I'll try to stick to X most of the time. So let's do an example. IQ scores are normally distributed, and this is true, with a mean of 100, and that is true as well. They're designed that way. Um, I'm not sure what the actual standard deviation is, uh, but we'll pretend that it's 15. And so if we have this score, uh, somebody's raw score, their IQ is 95, how many standard deviations away from the mean is 95? And so we will say, we will give direction with this as well. It's going to be below the mean, because the mean is 100 and 95 is less than that. And so we want to, notice that instead of Z, I've now uh, labeled this with X. So it's very important when you're drawing these pictures, which you know are required um, to get credit, it's important that you label them correctly. So um, this is supposed to be a 95. Even I have trouble reading my own writing there. Okay, and so in order to, to solve this, I want to know um, what the z-score is here. And so what I do is I'm going to use z equals x minus mu divided by sigma, because that's what's been asked, the number of standard deviations. So this value is x, and so this value, of course, is mu, so 95 minus 100 over sigma, we were given as 15. And so this is going to be negative 5 over 15, which is negative 1 third to three decimal places, or two decimal places for a z-score would be negative 0.33. And that is the answer. So that is it for this assignment, and uh, we will pick up there next time. Please remember to scan your lecture notes before midnight, the date listed on the course calendar. Um, if you have questions, please come to virtual office hours. If you can't do that, email me, but I need you to email me two pictures. One is for the problem, because I may not have access to my computer or what have you, depending on where I am. And the second is um, your work so far, what you've tried so that I can see how you're thinking about the problem. I can see the problem, and I can help you that way through email. So I hope you will take care of yourself, be safe, and we will see you next time.